Question number one. What tiny pollutant ends up in the ocean each year? About eight million tons. Is it oil, microplastics, or is it cigarette butts? The correct answer is microplastics. Microplastics harm wildlife and humans by polluting water, entering the food chain, and carrying toxins. Question number two. What happens when you toss fruit peels into the ocean? Does it disappear instantly, feeds local wildlife and fish, or brings harmful bacteria and insects? It brings harmful bacteria and insects. Fruit peels can also float in the ocean for years since they don't break down like on land, which may impact island ecosystems. Question number three. What is an organism or species that holds an ecosystem together? Is it an invasive species, keystone species, or is it an apex predator? Good job if you said keystone species. A keystone species can be any organism, from animals and plants to bacteria and fungi. It's essentially the glue that holds a habitat together. Question number four. Which creature is a keystone species that helps keep its habitat healthy? Is it a manatee, mosquito, or is it a hawk? You guessed right if you said manatee. These lovable sea cows help maintain seagrass beds, keeping their ecosystem balanced. Question number five. What does it mean when a company does greenwashing? Is it genuinely adopts eco-friendly practices, pretends to be eco-friendly for show, or is it uses only renewable energy? Good job if you said pretends to be eco-friendly for show. Greenwashing is when companies make products seem eco-friendly when they really aren't. This can include misleading labels or ads that trick people into thinking they're helping the planet. Question number six. Fish that act oddly before dying from pollution and low oxygen are called what? Is it mutant fish, zombie fish, or is it skeleton fish? Scary but true, they're called zombie fish. Ocean trash creates a haven for parasites, infecting fish, and making them swim erratically and appear lifeless before they die. That's a hard one, did you get it right? Question number seven. How is global warming and melting ice changing or its shape? Is it raising mountains or tilting the Earth's axis slightly, or is it shrinking Earth? If you guess tilting the Earth's axis, then you're correct. Melting ice from global warming shifts Earth's mass, slightly tilting its axis, which can affect climate patterns and sea levels. Question number eight. Which creature is a keystone species and an apex predator? Is it a wolf, sea otter, or is it a killer whale? You guessed right if you said wolf. As a keystone species, wolves regulate prey populations to prevent overgrazing. As a top predator, they control the food chain by hunting weaker prey to keep the ecosystem healthy and balanced. Question number nine. Which way of boiling water saves the most energy? Is it using an electric kettle, stovetop, or with a microwave? The correct answer is electric kettle. 
An electric kettle is 80 to 90% energy efficient because it heats water quickly with a built-in heating element. Question number 10. Which item takes the longest to break down if not recycled? Is it diapers, glass bottle, or is it a tin can? If you guessed glass bottle, then you're correct. Recycling is important, especially glass since it can take up to one million years to break down, helping reduce waste and protect the environment. Question number 11. What type of fabric sheds tiny plastic fibers that pollute water? Is it microfiber, silk, or is it cotton? If you said microfiber, then you're correct. Microfiber sheds tiny plastics during washing that pollute water and harm marine life. Question number 12. Which fast-growing sea plant absorbs carbon dioxide and provides shelter for marine life? Is it water lily, coral, or is it kelp? You guessed right if you said kelp. Giant kelp forms underwater rainforests, feeding marine life and helping the planet. Question number 13. Which paper plate can be recycled? The rest go in the trash. Is it shiny paper, marker on uncoated paper, or is it food stained paper? If you said marker on uncoated paper, you're correct. Clean, uncoated paper plates can be recycled, even with marker diddles. But shiny or food-stained ones go in the trash. Question number 14. Which drink is the most eco-friendly choice? Is it coffee in a paper cup, soda in a pop can, or is it bubble tea in a plastic cup? Good job if you said soda can. Paper cups have plastic linings that make recycling harder, while aluminum cans are easily recycled. Question number 15. Jeans are made from cotton, so why are they bad for the environment? Is it because lots of water and chemicals are used, it can't be recycled, or does it use minimal cotton? The correct answer is lots of water and chemicals used. Jeans are bad for the environment because it takes 2,000 gallons of water to make a pair, and they're often produced with harmful chemicals. Question number 16. What action should you limit to lower energy use? Is it wash clothes with cold water, take long hot showers, or is it turn off devices using a power bar? The correct answer is take long hot showers. A five minute hot shower each day can use about 75 liters of water wasting energy and raising a family's gas bill by 10 to 15 percent. Question number 17. Which type of cutting board is the safer and more eco-friendly choice? Is it plastic, marble, or bamboo? Bamboo is the way to go. It's tough, resists moisture, and blocks bacteria better than other surfaces, and is an exceptional green material. Question number 18. Besides green, what's seen as an eco-friendly and ethical color? Is it blue, red, or yellow? The correct answer is blue. Great work if you got that right. Let's gear up for the second last question. Here we go. 
Question number 19. What happens if a keystone species disappears from an ecosystem? Does it save prey species, radically change the ecosystem, or do new animals take over? The answer is radically changes the ecosystem. Removing a keystone species harms biodiversity, disrupting balance, and causing species loss. Are you ready for the last question? Question number 20. Why do people say there is no planet B? Does it mean we can easily move to space? Mars is ready for humans. Or is it Earth is the only home we have? You're correct if you said Earth is the only home we have. It's a little sad, but true, which is why we must take care of the planet we know and love. Subscribe for more. And don't forget to also like this video.